Hey guys, welcome back to another reading on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to do a reading for all you guys born in the year of the snake. It's Karmic Wednesday, so we've done the dragon. We're going to move on to the snake because, of course, the snake is the negative karmic sign. But you all know that already because you've hit subscribe and you are following on with the channel. We are going to be doing your triangle next, snake people. So if you are interested in learning more about your affinity triangles and the, compatib the compatibilities that you have with the ox and the rooster, that thinker triangle will be the next video that we do on the triangles. I can't say when it will be, so hit that subscribe button and then you won't miss it. Right, let's see how we're getting on this week for you guys. I guess just give these a shuffle and see how this week has been. Let's see where we're at. Let's just flip them over here. Move them about. And we'll stop there. We'll take that one from the bottom. We'll take that one from the middle. We'll take that one from the top. What have we got? We've got a white, black, black. Okay, so that's not too bad. It's got a good start anyway. So we've got that positive pig. Not a great start. And this is, again, a great example of when I say white doesn't always mean all right. Things could be worse, yes, but you've still got that pig card coming in. The pig and the snake are direct conflicts. If you want to know more about your conflict signs and your conflict line, then hit that subscribe button. There's that pig coming straight in right there. It is in the white, so it's not so bad. And it is a catalyst card, so it does mean that things are changing. And for you, this is more of a change of perspective, a change of direction, a change of uh, your thought process, a change of your mind. I think this is a this is a time where you've kind of neglected yourself and not yourself, but you've neglected what you're capable of. And I think this is now a reminder that you need to recognize and appreciate your own strength. You need to appreciate that your personality, your your snakeness, your attitude to life, who you are is important. It is important. I think that what this is kind of representing here is a very slow start to a very quick a very quick kind of um spiral if you were to allow it where you start putting yourself down you start lacking confidence you start you start thinking oh well I could have done this differently I could have done that better I could have been a different person but you need to appreciate who you are you need to appreciate who you are and and basically where where you're kind of headed in the direction that you're going. It's not over for you. Sometimes it feels things are not moving. Sometimes it feels like you are stuck. Sometimes it feels like it's going to be this way forever. But that's not true. It's not true at all. You need to trust more. And then you need to trust more. And you need to have faith. And you need to believe in yourself. That's what you need to do. Is You definitely need to believe in yourself. Because having doubts on yourself or lacking this confidence in yourself... It's going to be a hindrance and it's going to hold you back. It's going to hold other people back. They just want what's best for you. They want to help you. They want to support you. I think as well, it's a good thing that you've started to make plans and you've wanted to get out more and you are now getting out more, even if it is just, uh, you know, once a week or twice a week, just walking around or being more active. This is good. And it can happen spontaneously. It can happen, you know, you know, spare of the moment. And it may not happen all the time, but doing it with optimism and the right intentions, this is a good thing. You know, book a holiday, go for a walk, you know, plan some fun adventures. Why not? You need to you need to respect the fact that all work and no play is going to make you very depressed and and withdrawn. And you don't want to become withdrawn. I know it's a safe space for snake people to kind of withdraw themselves and hide underneath their rock and observe things from a distance until they know that the coast is clear and even then they're going to be suspicious of everything that happens here on out. But, but, try not to do that because as I say, you're slipping into this negative side here. Another catalyst card, big changes coming, forceful changes, things that are, they're happening maybe not necessarily for you but definitely because of you. And I think that uh, this is going to frustrate you because you don't like the change and it's going to make you want to, it's going to make you want to be pushed into a, into a corner or, or withdraw into that corner so that you can watch your own back. 
I think that that's what you're kind of telling yourself right now. I mean, you're an intellectual. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. You're you're emotionally in tune. Your your intuition your intuition is spot on. Like you're a very emotional card. You're a karmic card. You're you know you're not stupid. But when change starts happening and you're uncomfortable with it, this is going to give you this is going to give you this uh, I suppose desire this uh, this kind of need to lash out especially if you're backed up into that corner. See, this is what's going to happen now. If you if you don't embrace these changes, or if you don't uh, sort of start appreciate, appreciating who you are and recognise that the changes around you are happening, you know, for you, it's all good, don't worry, don't panic. If you go into a negative spiral when you start thinking to yourself that you're to blame and you should have done things differently and stuff like this, this is this is where you're not going to be... This is where this is going to be so painful. This is where you're going to back yourself up into that corner. And then when you're in that corner, you're going to want to lash out. You're going to want to lash out and you're going to start not maybe attacking people, but you're going to be unreasonable. You're going to be unreasonable and and you're going to be you're going to be hard to be around. I mean, snakes aren't exactly the most pleasant of people anyway. No offense. No offense. They just aren't. They're just they, they come across as cold. And if you're not if you're not compatible with a snake and you were, say, a different sign uh, like a sheep. Um, you would find a snake person very cold, uh, very withdrawn, um, and in themselves, you, you'd, you'd find them, uh, you know, especially maybe not sheep, but just people in general would find that snakes are those stern people. They are very stern people. Um, they have no problem sticking up for themselves. They have no problem with, uh, you know, um, sort of just, just being being selfish snake people and i think realistically because of your selfishness i'm just saying it as it is i'm saying it as it is. i'm sorry but it is what it is because of your selfishness a change in direction or changes that are happening these these aren't things that you're happy with these aren't things that you are content with because it's taking you out of control it's taking you out of control that's what i mean to, to remain in a better place you need to remember who you are and you need to accept the fact that there are some things that you can't control and and realistically embrace it embrace it is like uh is like the the thing here you have to embrace it oh and it just gets worse because you're not doing that why would you not want to do that because you're stubborn and these changes are things that potentially are this i mean this is a big a big catalyst here there's a massive change but these changes are things that you don't want to change. You don't want to let them go. Deep down, deep down, you know it's what's right, but it's painful. It's hard. It's it's hard to leave that job that you've been in for 20 years. It's hard to, to leave behind the love of your life and get over them now that it's all come to an end. It's hard for you to scrap that car because it's failed its MOT. Do you know what I mean? Whatever it is to move from that house, to, to put down that pet, to whatever it is. It's a massive impact on your life. And this massive catalyst, this massive change, it's influencing, it's influencing you. It, it's basically pushing you and, and edging you into that corner, backing you into that corner because it's your safe space. And as these things change, you're going to get more agitated, you're going to get more frustrated, you're going to get more... And maybe you won't say as much, maybe you won't admit it, maybe nobody would ever notice, maybe nobody is going to even pick up on it. But you will know. And as these changes start happening, you'll know exactly what it is that, that these cards are saying. You'll, you'll be like, this is it. This is, this is the change that I knew that I wouldn't like. This is like. This is like saying, I'm going to cross that bridge when I get to it. You're at the bridge. You are at the bridge. So you've got two choices. You cross the bridge or you burn the bridge. And because you don't want to make the choice, because you'd rather just hide under your rock and be oblivious to the fact that there even is a choice to the bridge or what to do with the bridge, the decision's going to be made for you. That takes you out of control, and that's not going to be something that you're going to be very happy with. So this is going to make you quite frustrated and agitated and want to lash out. And that is exactly what you need to avoid. Whether or not you will, who knows? I'm not here to tell a snake what to do. You will do as you please. However, I'm just saying that these changes are coming and you can either embrace them, cross the bridge, carry on your way, be productive and get on with it. Or you can sit sit there and just let, just let whatever happens, happens and just pretend that the bridge doesn't exist. 
this is now that bridge that you need to cross. So what are you going to do? We'll find out next week when we come back with another reading for the snake people. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a reading for the horse and the sheep people. So if you are interested in the Chinese Zodiac, hit that subscribe button. If you know anybody who was born in those years, then do send them our way. We'll be back then. Thank you for watching. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you next week when we do another reading for the snake people. Thank you for watching, guys. Love and peace.